Ooh, look at the bling. That's a nugget. Oh, man. <laughs> that nigga said, that's a nugget. <laughs> oh, shit. But, hey, man, congratulations to Gucci and Keisha on the engagement, man. I wish y'all nothing but the best. Many more years together, you know. Hey, be successful, be great, man. But, look, I'm going to touch on two topics in this video. Two topics. The first topic I want to talk about is about why people keep hating on Gucci. Like, bro, I dead ass seen grown ass men. Grown ass men hating on this man because he proposed to his girl. You 30, 40 years old, but you think it's not cool to have a wife? What the? Like, how the fuck do you sound, my nigga? Then folk keep saying, oh, I want the old Gucci back. Man, shut that lame ass shit. Shit up, bro. That same shit he was doing back in the day is the reason why his ass was in prison. Like, how y'all wishing on another man downfall, bro? This man got out of prison and changed his life for the better, but you want him to get back on the fuck shit and go right back? This man happy as hell, living his life. He ain't getting no younger. He gotta, you know, grow up and mature, so what's the problem? Some of y'all folk really want to see somebody down bad before you see them up, bro, and that's sad. I just don't understand. In a moment like this, everybody's supposed to be happy, but motherfucker nitpicking every little thing calling his girl a thot like god damn bro like what what you so pressed about bro this not your girl gucci man want her he love her so why you worried about it you not going to sleep beside her every night so it don't even matter but now let's talk about these relationship goals this shit be irking the hell out of me too Stop trying to copy and paste somebody's relationship, man. If you keep trying to base your relationship off of what another couple is doing, it ain't gonna never work because you ain't keeping it real with yourself. You not them, so you can't compare yourself to them. What they going through ain't the same shit you going through. What might help them might not help you. What really pissed me off, though, is this girl was like, man, my man gonna get out of jail and be just like Gucci. He gonna um, propose to me and we gonna be big. I'm like, man, hell no, bitch, you not. Like, not even on no hating shit, bro. I wish everybody success, but it's a difference between her man and Gucci. Her man went to jail, left her on Section 8. She still ain't got shit. They broke as fuck, struggling, trying to recreate shit. Gucci, on the other hand, he was in another situation. He had money, so he left his girl with money, and she flipped it. She kept shit going, so when he got out, he came back to more money. And shit, for her doing that alone, she deserved a ring, goddamn, because she stayed down and got shit together. Most chicks ain't gonna do that nowadays, so when you find one, you know what I'm saying, you gotta keep them, because it's hard to come by. At the end of the day, this is what I'm saying. You can never base your relationship off of Instagram posts. You cannot sit here and think that your relationship will work because of what somebody said on Twitter or Instagram. Yes, celebrities live a lavish lifestyle, and some of the stuff they do is enticing. You know, you grow up looking at them, so it's natural that you want to live like them. But they not showing you everything. You know, they reveal what they want you to know. You're not seeing their whole life. They have problems that they need answers to just like we do celebrity couples are not immune to this shit bro this is real life and until you understand that a relationship is 50 50 until you understand that sometimes it ain't gonna always be peaches and cream until you know for a fact that hey it's girls out there that look better than my girl and you know for a girl she may think dudes out there look better than her guy but until you appreciate that person and really love that person for who they are and understand that relationships come with ups and downs you ain't gonna never be happy.